everybody. It's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you so much for joining me for today's flashcard mashup. I have had a great time creating with the brand new Coffee Cafe bundle. This comes with the stamp set and the matching framelits. Guys, I'm a true coffee holic, so this stamp set and the framelits spoke to me. And uh, I'm going to share with you how to create a flashcard mashup using your flashcards and your flashcard 2.0. So let's get started. So for our flashcard mashup today, we're going to use the Coffee Cafe bundle. So that's going to come with the stamp sets and the matching framelits. Our card stock today, our card base is in crumb cake, and I have this scored at one and a half inches and four and a quarter inches. And my flashcard mashup pieces today, I have Whisper White, that's four by two and a half, and Emerald Envy, this is five and a half by two and an eighth. We're going to begin stamping and I'm going to start with an Emerald Envy ink pad and I'm going to bring in the lid that comes on our coffee cup and we want to stamp that down here at the bottom of our Emerald Envy. I'm now going to use a chocolate chip ink pad and we're going to stamp here on the Whisper White. I'm going to stamp my Thanks a Lot Tay. We're going to stamp that way up here at the top. And in this set is a tiny little heart. This is going to be um, our little uh, stick stopper, if you're familiar with those in these coffee cups. We're gonna stamp that up here at the top as well. Now let me show you how all this is going to go through the big shot. So I have got the tall coffee cup, and we're gonna line that up fairly close to the bottom here. I've got the oval that comes in that set that's going to cut up my thanks a latte. And then I have my little stir stick. Now over here, uh, we also have a framelit that's going to cut out our coffee lid. And we need one more and that is the coffee sleeve. And we're just going to lay this one. We wanna keep these way down here at the bottom because we're going to use this upper portion. So let's go run all this through our Big Shot machine. All right, there's all our pieces. Guys, we are simply going to take our snail adhesive and we're going to adhere our coffee cup together. When you add the snail to the lid, you do wanna make sure you're keeping it just down there at the bottom because the lid is going to kind of stick out on the back. So make sure that you're using your snail, snail sparingly. The other option you have here is also to use the multi-purpose glue. I have put just a dot of snail on our stir stick, on our stopper stick. Let's put that right there in the center. And finally, our thanks a latte. I actually have a stamp and dimensional on the back of that. We can add that to the center of our cup. All right, that's done. Now let's go ahead and create the card. I'm going to bring in my stamp and trimmer and we want to cut this down. So basically, we want to cut off anything that we can salvage. Looks like we've got about three quarters of an inch. Um, there's no rocket science to that measurement, but we want to be able to have that strip. We can now bring in the card base and you can see that one and a half inch mark. I simply just uh, accordion folded that. We're now going to come back in with the chocolate chip. Let's add some coffee beans to our card. I am simply going to add these up and down the right side and then we'll add them also to the left side. Now that we have that done, we're going to add this strip right here to the inside of our card. So I'm just going to add snail down that edge and I'm just going to use this to give myself a nice little border. I didn't want to waste it and I really wanted just a little more pop of that Emerald Envy. It's now time to add our coffee cup. Now I kind of put mine at an angle, but that is going to make you think when you put the snail on here. So I know I don't want snail here on this end, so I only want it on this side. So I'm gonna give myself a couple strips, make sure that's gonna hold nicely. Add my coffee cup. And there we go. Now this stamp set does come with some sentiments, so you're welcome to put those on the inside. But if you wanted to make this a gift card holder, you can just simply add some snail adhesive to a Starbucks gift card, and that's just going to sit nicely in there. And we have a wonderful little gift card if that's the way you choose to go with it. There you go, it really is a simple card. It's amazing how much we were able to get out of those two little pieces of cardstock, right? I love this card and I love this stamp set and framelits. My blood runs coffee bean. So this one really spoke to me. Now listen, if you need to get any of the supplies I use to create the card, not a problem. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the July 7th, 
2017 blog post. You'll see that. You'll see the measurements. So if there's anything you need that you missed, you can grab it there too. And if you'd like to order any of the supplies, just click a pick. It's that easy. It's going to take you right to my online store. You can order what you need and you'll be creating in no time. Now, if you also love the idea of flashcards and you'd like to get started with those, but you maybe don't have all that card stock or you'd like a good variety, I have flashcards to go. This is where all the card stock is cut and scored. It's ready for you in both flashcards and flashcard 2.0. You'll have the envelopes, everything you need. Head over to Simply Simple Stamping in the blue menu bar. You're going to see flashcards to go. Everything you need to know is right there. Well, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope you get a chance to create today's card. And uh, if you like what you see here at Simply Simple Stamping, just click subscribe. I sure do appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>